Karim el -Anawi. welcome to WPC-TV. You are the Managing Director of the OCP Policy Center. And I know you're a big, uh, basically a political scientist as well. So tell me what you see are the risks in our uncertain world. Uh, thank you for having me, John. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, well, you know, many uncertainties. Uh, I look at the world from, you know, a middle-income country in Africa, which is, uh, which is Morocco. And as you all aware, uh, there's grand games of, you know, large geopolitical shifts uh, going on, particularly in the Middle East. Uh, but not only, there's of course, uh, you know, China emerging, uh, challenges in Europe, uh, which is a big issue for us, but because, you know, we're quite well integrated with Europe in economic terms. We receive lots of tourists, foreign direct investment flows. Uh, many companies are, you know, uh, doing business in Morocco, but also more broadly in Africa. And, um, you know, and there's also confidence. Uh, it seems that in many countries, people have, you know, sort of lost confidence and... Uh, uh, well, on that point, I mean, does that become worse? I mean, maybe too early to say, but does it become worse because of the election of uh, Donald Trump? And also because of the Brexit vote in Europe? I think this, all, all these dynamics are part of a global climate. Uh, we just had COP22, uh, which you know, m raises many hopes for you know, a safer world, better world, in terms of uh, you know, the quality of, of, of our lives, but also addressing a fundamental Well, in terms issues. of the environment. And, uh, yes, so we need maybe a COP for uh, you know, bring back confidence. Mm. And, uh, uh, what, what I see is also uh, our partners in advanced economies uh, are worried about, uh, you know, the future. While in emerging and developing economies, there's, you know, confidence is stronger. And I think it is time to uh, get together and see how we can address uh, this issue, particularly as an economist, as look at uh, as the global economy, protracted growth, uh, where Africa and the climate transition can be two sources of growth. You know, if we address the challenge of economic growth in, in, in Africa, that can be a fantastic source of growth for the global economy and particularly for Europe. Uh, but we have to be serious. We're talking about massive investments. We're talking about uh, integrating the continent in the global value chains. Uh, the Chinese have understood that, you know, that they uh, invest more in Africa if you accumulate all the bilateral, multilateral flows, uh, in Chinese investment are much larger uh, in Africa. So because they understand the challenges, you know, not so long ago they were a low-income co economy, they now a middle-income country. Sure. So they understand pretty well this trajectory of development, what it takes in terms of infrastructure investment, in terms of addressing market failures, public policies, while our partners in the North have forgot, forgot about that a little bit. So let's hope that you make them, that you make them remember the lesson. And remind yes, them of you know, we, we, we want more Europe, we want more US in Africa, we want, uh, you know, uh, them looking at it and trying to, uh, you know, be partners of development. They already are strong partners, but we want more of that. And they, for, from our perspective, they are too busy with their own issues, you know, and it's important, you know, it's like in soccer. Yeah. When you look at the ball, you don't see your partner, you have to raise your head, and the solutions of, of your problems sometimes are, you know, elsewhere. Well, let's hope, Karim al that we can score a few goals. Thank you so much for being with well, us. Well, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.